Hey guys, this is Miriam, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to create a layout using a Dillowee Zoo cut file and some other things that I'm going to mention during the video. I also wanted to apologize about my boys. I'm a little bit sick at the moment, but I really wanted to do a voiceover for this video so you guys could understand much better the process I follow when I create a layout. Okay, so let's get started. I started by cutting six of these really cute heart banners using my Zula Cameo. After the machine finished doing its thing, I traced a heart which was a bit smaller than the heart from the banner and used it as a template to back the cut file. I cut out lots of hearts from different pattern papers and also some from metal paper. Next, with the help of my Tomo liquid adhesive, I adhered them to the actual cut file. And after a couple hours, maybe, this is how it turned out. I wasn't really sure which paper to use as my background, so after looking through some options, I decided in this one from the You Make Me So Happy collection, which is called Green Chart. Even though I really liked that paper, I wanted to keep the attention to the heart banners I backed earlier, so I whitewashed the paper with white gesso from Windsor & Newton just to turn down it a little bit. I let the paper dry for some minutes and then I cut it at 8.5 by 11 inches. To adhere the heart banners to the background, I use foam squares. This took me some time, but I just love the dimension that it adds to my page. Once I finished that part, I went ahead and pulled out the people parts from the Rainbow Woo collection and chose some pieces that coordinated well with my photo and also added some layers behind of it. today it's from my first birthday which was back in 2003. I don't remember any of it but I asked my mom and my dad about what happened that day so I could include that information in my journaling. I love documenting the story behind each of my photos so the journaling is something that you will always find in my layouts.
So out of camera, I added some good veneers, a few war stickers, and the word this to my title so it would be love this instead of just the word love. If you're interested in the products I use today, they're listed in the blog post, which is linked down below. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and ring that little bell so you don't miss any new videos. Have a great day. Bye!